Motor Week is made possible by Cars.com, Valvoline, and Goodyear. It's the kind of car that stirs up one's curiosity. It is quite a departure um, from what's normally on the road. And if Mike Harvey has his way, this space-age style electric vehicle called the Bug E could become the commuter car of the future. It is designed to carry one person as efficiently as possible from point to point. This three-wheel plug-in cycle car weighs less than 400 pounds and is powered by an electric motor and four lead-acid batteries. It has a standard driving range of about 40 miles and a top speed of 45 miles per hour. Harvey got into the electric car business in 2006 when gas prices hit $3 a gallon. The former car customizer converted his 92 Cabriolet to battery power, but soon realized he couldn't make a living doing electric conversions. Every car you convert typically is a one-off, so you don't get this repeatability from a business standpoint. Further research led him to a company that manufactures and sells the buggy as part of a do-it-yourself kit. Harvey began building the electric cars at his company garage in Knoxville, Maryland. We decided you know, to use our experience and take it an another level and make it a commercially viable vehicle. Each one takes about four to five days to assemble and most of the parts, lights, motor, wires are off the shelf. The single seater has handlebar steering with handbrakes and a thumb throttle similar to an ATV. Your lighting, directionals, high beam, low beam, horns all here. Other amenities include this nifty storage space in front and a radio with an iPod connector. Harvey, who's 6'1", can easily fit inside. Well, it kind of feels like an airplane cockpit. It takes a little getting used to because it's not quite a car. Um, but again, it's all about efficiency of space. Feedback on the SRT has prompted Harvey to build the XRT, Extended Range Transport. This independent rear is new. Um, the original model had a stiff rear. The new model will go faster and further thanks to this experimental lithium iron battery pack. It's all a matter of energy density. It's how much current and how much capa energy capacity you can store on board. Um, and lithium um, allows us to store up to five times more. Improving battery power is key to the EV's success, but the concept of an electric commuter is hardly new. Check out this 1975 electric city car now stored in Harvey's garage. That car will go about 30 miles an hour, about 40 miles on a charge. So 30 years ago, we had the technology to do basic transportation. For Harvey, building the buggy is a true labor of love. But his overall goal is to heighten the public's awareness of electric vehicles by showing them what's possible on the roads today. The more people see it, understand it, realize we're not talking about golf carts here. We're talking about, you know, world-class vehicles like the Tesla and, and the Volt, if it comes out, will be. And I think every household could probably use at least one EV, if not a whole garage full of them.